Hey everyone! I figured I'd do four more videos before I call it quits on this set that I'm doing. Even though these will probably have something in between each three or four, not sure. Probably four, I guess. Since I just went through eight Famicom games. Anyway, I'm going through my NES cards from back when I was a kid. And, uh, I figured I'd show off four of my... Not my necessarily my four favorite games, but four of my favorite games. Four, four of my top 20, whatever. There was another one I was going to do first. I couldn't get to work. I'll try it again in a little bit, but uh, while I have this one working, Star Tropics. Why not? So I actually, uh, I never beat the original Star Tropics. I beat Star Tropics 2. Because I bought it first. Uh, it's probably a story I've told my, I've told before. But, uh, well, my brother's in Chapter 2, huh? What do you know? Um, and it's amazing that our files are still on here. Our, our files are still on my uh, Zelda cart as well. Pretty incredible. I guess it helps if you don't play it for a long time. Anyway, um, I had Christmas money one year from my uh, grandparents. And I went to Toys R Us and I had... Two choices for stuff that I wanted. I could have bought a a, a TurboGrafx-16 because they were marking them down because they just weren't selling at all. I could have got the entire system for 50 bucks. I think it might have come with a game. Or I could have gotten Star Trek X2, a game I had never played before. I got Star Trek X2. <laughs> uh, looking back, I wish I would have gotten TurboGrafx-16 just to say I had one. But Star Trek X2 is fucking awesome, so... Eh. Anyway, let's, uh... uh I, I don't know. Uh, uh, SRT, sure. Super Retro Theater. Here we go. Chapter 1, Prelude. One day in summer, you land at Sea Island where Dr. Jones has his laboratory. So this is, uh... uh an adventure action game, I'd say. wander about here. We talk to people on the island. Welcome to Coral Cola. Oi, I don't know what you expected to say, but... Uh, dude, it's got an asshole! Look at that! That's disgusting. That has to be the one of the first instances of an asshole in a, in a video game. How does that get past the censors? Good grief. I have to hurry. I'm gonna roast a pig for your welcome party. Oh shit. I don't want any asshole, please. Who are you? Stay away from here. Hey, don't you guys know me? Oh, a miracle. Wait a minute. Maybe they don't know me, never mind. A miracle. I mean, it's not wrong. Wait a minute. Okay, some of these people know me and others don't. What the fuck? Your uncle, Dr. Jones, is so nice. We call him Dr. J. Oh, last week I met Dr. J. He was very busy solving some strange puzzle. Last night I gazed up at the Southern Cross. Suddenly I saw many shooting stars. Legends, legends say shooting stars are omens of disaster. Oh, be oh my. One day I hope to go to an area with no light pollution, or minimal light pollution, just so I can look up at the night sky. I've never seen, like, the universe as it's meant to look. I heard you were coming. Wanna go fishing? I'm sure, but... Uh, boy, I look like a tubby little fucker from the side, don't I? I miss Carl 1990. Do you think I'm pretty? Mike, your uncle told me about you. I feel like we are old friends. Oh, so we've just been... Uh, Dr. Jones just told people I was coming. I've been waiting for you. I'm Chief Coral Cola, and a good friend of your uncle. Listen, Mike, I have some bad news. Last night, try not to be too upset, but your uncle, Dr. Jones, has been abducted. He's trying to do his best for William Shatner. We must keep this from the Islanders, so they don't panic. You are the best hope of rescuing Dr. Jones. I don't know what to do. Can you help? Sure. Good, you're brave. 
Take this island yo-yo. You may think this yo-yo is just a toy, but it's very powerful. Mike, you're an ace pitcher. Use it. You've got a yo-yo. That's our beginning weapon. Mike, it looks like peaceful around here. Oh, it looks peaceful around here. But in the dark below, many monsters have appeared these last few years. Don't let them get you. Mike, the fate of your uncle is in your hands. Find a tunnel in the village and hurry to Dr. J's laboratory. Everybody has a Shatner. Everybody does it poorly. And yet, it's so accurate either way. Have you met our chief yet? He's way for you. He's a fucking weirdo. Bunga Bunga, let me through. Oh, you're Dr. Chase's nephew. Here's the tunnel. Good luck. Now it's time for some dungeoneering. Oh, shit. I'm the shaman and sister of the island chief. Your uncle has abducted be uh, was abducted because he found a secret in the lost ruins. I have a great hope that you will succeed in rescuing Dr. Jones. I was going to do like a, like a Jamaican lady accent, but uh, I don't know. It might be a little in insensitive considering this is more of a... These people are a little unga bunga. And Jamaicans aren't unga bunga. They're, 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 they're civilized people, not people that walk around with skulls on their sticks. Unless they practice voodoo, I guess. There are voodoo practitioners across the Caribbean, so... Eh. Whatever, I'm just gonna shut up. I don't know enough of what I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe I could just do a Miss Cleo, but that's supposed to be Jamaican. <laughs> I'm trying hard to not read this in Miss Cleo's voice. <laughs> Just like your North Star, island sailors look for the Southern Cross. Mike, many mo wild monsters await you in the dark below. I started to go to Shatner there for a second. But remember, the magic of the Southern Cross is always on your side. I'm thinking it's... It's Miss Cleo, who gives a fuck? She's a fucking hack anyway. Now begin the test of island courage. Good luck. Well, I'll try, like, like auto saves. Sort of. See, I beat people just back in yo yo. How do I. That's weird. I. Oh, it's. What if I jump in the water? Oh, okay. Okay, well, let me jump in the water. Will it? No, okay. So, jumping forward is contextual. Otherwise, you just jump in place. Okay. I want to say you had freedom in your jumps in two. Oh, God damn, my fucking thing's bothering me. Hang on. Man, I asked for Raycons last Christmas, Raycon earbuds, and got them, and uh, they're a poor fit, in my opinion. Maybe my ears are just weird. They usually get pretty good reviews and whatnot, but they just kind of bother my ears. Keep falling out, and honestly, and they don't have the, the, the audio codec necessary to uh, kill lag between uh, transmitting from your TV to your earbuds, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> So everything is on a delay. Like, okay. Okay. You, you see that a noise ha uh, pops up whenever, you know, the pause sign comes up, right? Now, I'm going to hit the button. I'll tell you when I hear it. Now. Yeah. There's that much of a delay. So it, it, it can be a little disorienting to uh, uh, do this. But it's either this or listen to it through my actual TV, and that's gonna fuck things up. I can't lis listen to it through OBS because it's in even more of a delay. Now, it doesn't affect things on your guys' end, but for me, trying to watch it through preview mode, yeah, that's not happening. 
Ah, that's right. Ah, you little shit! There you go. Uh -uh. Yeah, Star, Star Comics is an excellent game. It's, it's not as good as two, in my opinion, but, uh... Uh, I mean, two had to start somewhere, right? And this is quite good. I like Star Tropics. Both games are excellent. I, I wish this was a franchise that, uh, Nintendo would revisit. Who Star Tropics is made by? Was it actually made by Nintendo? Maybe not, I'm not sure. Mike for Smash! Uh, uh okay, okay. Can't do that. Right. Oh, but you have to... Oh, n oh, no! Oh, that that's, that's painful. Why the hell do I have the lives, then? Yeah. I could probably ignore these two, actually. Oh, I guess any of these will do it. There you go. What is this star supposed to do? I forget. Okay, pressing select makes something beep. Like it's supposed to do something, but it doesn't. You little shit! It seems stars will also increase my health. In addition to just, well, picking up hearts. So I'm gonna guess... Yeah, we go. another fun game to LP, I think. But, uh... Yeah, we, we don't do too many of those around here anymore. But, uh, maybe. Maybe. At the very least, there is three games I'd like to do. Mario 3, Zelda, and, uh, well, Zelda 1. And, uh, my favorite game. Which you'll see in... three videos, I guess? I choose this way. Oh shit. Get over here. Ah, you little shite. Look at these Zelda ass bats. Pausing to chill every now and then. Making sure there's no goodies in here. Anyway, I chose poorly. So long, suckers! Um, I continue to choose poorly, apparently. It sucks that you're stuck to moving on a grid. Pretty sure you had freedom of movement in the second one. See, I, I can't go diagonal, and I have to go, like... If I press left or right, like... like pressing left once turns me. Press it again, it, you go. Press right. Get right, and then... When I press it once again, and yeah. That's how this works. All right, listen to your shit stains. Oh, 
I fucked up. Uh... Okay, <laughs> you guys get the idea. Star Dropbox is cool, but the uh, dated when it comes to its gameplay a bit. <laughs> Alright then, thank you all for watching, and I'm going to try and see if I can get the first game I was going to do working. Later!